Welcome to this brand new video series. This is where I'm going to give you some behind the scenes looks at my journey as an author. Now, uh, I've pledged previously to uh, share the full truth, good and bad, on my successes and failures going forward. So that I will of course do. So in this video, it's the first in the series. So here I will share the goals I've set out for myself. More just after this. As I said in the introductions just before, this is the first video in what is going to be a long running series. Personally, I see it as quite unique because it takes its beginning now where I'm just starting out as an author. I want to invite you with me on this journey and we'll see where it all ends up. My intention is to add a new video to, to this series a few times a year to recap how I'm performing against the targets that I've set for myself and also to include new targets for the coming year. In full transparency before we get into it, I did start out to work uh, on my author business in the summer of 2015. So the goals and achievements I'm going to share with you here is in reality covering one and a half year. This first slide is my business category, which essentially covers the business side of my author life. Well, that, that was pretty obvious. The first item on the list was creating a logo. The result is what you see at the bottom left side of the slide. I got it created on Fiverr at a very minimum price tag uh, and I, I'm quite happy with it, at, le at least for now. Maybe I'll one day get something else, but I think it works pretty well for me. As any business, I need to have presence on the internet and I can't be everywhere at once. So I spent quite a lot of time trying to figure out which platforms would be the right one for me. And since I also have a full-time day job, I needed to be careful in the selections I did. Now, I was already on Twitter and I quite liked the platform, so that choice was quite easy. No matter if one likes Facebook or not, I don't see any way around it. Its value as a marketing tool is just too huge. For the third platform, I ended up deciding on YouTube. The reason being that I believe that the video format is the future and I also and also because I found it very limited how many authors actually leverage the powers of this platform. I've set a goal for myself to see if I can reach 10,000 followers on Twitter by the end of the year. I honestly have no idea if this is realistic or not. At the moment I'm uh, of recording this video, I sit at 900 followers, so I'm very active on Twitter, so we'll see how I succeed, I guess. In general, though, I do think that measuring followers, subscribers, or whatever they're called on each platform is a bit of a vanity factor. What is important to me, at least, is that you guys enjoy what I create and that we interact with each other. The community and engagement is what matters most to me. For this exact reason, I've not set myself any target for subscribers on YouTube. As an alternative, I'm looking to measure engagement, quality and growth in, different way, in a different way. Um, I did not come up with this way of calculating. Tim Smoyer from Video Creators did, and I'll list the link in the, to the article in the description field below, uh, along with another article which gives some interesting stats from an analysis done of 1 million YouTube channels. In a later video, I'll come back to how I'm performing across these metrics then, but for now, it's still a bit too early in, at the end of the day. This next slide is the category covering my efforts to constantly improve my craft as a writer. First of all, I wanted to read six books on the craft of writing. And remember when I said that I'm covering one and a half year here. Uh, and I'm pleased to conclude that I've actually already met my quota with 15 books read. These are non-fiction books and they're not 100,000 word novels, so it's not as, as, as impressive as it sounds. Uh, I'll include the title of each book in the description field below. 
I've also set myself the goal to complete four fiction books. This goal is quite more ambitious since I'm reading The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan and I'm not a fast reader and these books are long, I mean really, really long. Uh, I managed to complete book three and four in the series and I'm now on book five but I've only just started that one uh, and we're in the summer now so I have six months to complete two entire epic novels and I have quite a busy, busy life already so let's see how I fare. Then the goal of following a class on creative writing. I was very happy to find two full lectures on YouTube which Brandon Sanderson ran at uh, Brigham Young University. I'll include the links below but you have 31 and a half hours of writing classes right there. I watched it all so check in the box for that one. The last slide is probably the most important one as it relates to my own writing. Desolation is the first book in a trilogy I have named The Keystone Bone. At this point in time, I've, I've not only completed the outline, I've also written and self-edited the entire novel. It currently sits with the editor, so I think I should be on track to release it this November as, as I've planned, that's November 2016. Then I need to get into outlining and writing the first draft of uh, book two in the series. I have not managed to get anything done on that one yet. However, I have managed to complete a non-fiction book on fantasy map making, which I actually had not planned for originally, so I'm quite pleased with that. That was it for now, guys. I hope you find it interesting with this kind of look behind the scenes. I would really love to hear what you think though, so leave a comment in the comment section below and if it's your first time here please do subscribe to the channel. As I just said early on the engagement with you is really what is important for me. If you feel like helping out please go and visit my page on Patreon, you'll find the link in the description field below. Until next time, 